Wheels and the Thrill Freak. I'm here at the Tree Hoppers, a new aerial adventure park north of Tampa and Dade City. I'm with the CEO of Tree Hoppers, Benjamin Negadust. And, uh, that was the worst. I love it. I yeah. found hey. both a green and a blue. We're here at debating on doing the other blue because we don't have time to do the yeah. diamonds. But uh, I totally love it. So, Greg, what, uh, what was in your mind about bringing such a thing down to Florida and being from Indiana? Well, we um, we already have a zipline course up in Indiana right now, and we we uh, wanted to bring something down here because I actually live down here. I live in the Tampa Bay area, and my wife's from this area. So we've been looking for a piece of property for a few years. We found this property back in 2013. Could it's a while to put the whole, you know, package together and acquire the property and do all the uh, necessary financial work and legal work and all these types of things. So we did that. We bought the property in uh, March of this year. And the idea behind doing this as opposed to like a canopy tour is we wanted something that was really different. But more importantly, we feel that this type of course really offers things that are much different than a lot of the canopy zipline tours that are in this area. Uh, one of the things is we can actually put a few hundred people on that platform. We can do school groups, youth groups, bachelor parties, birthday parties, corporate groups, all sorts of stuff like that. Friendly get-togethers. And that's something you can't really do with the canopy tour. Sure. The second thing is you're really kind of pushing yourself personally. It's, it's really you know, self-motivated and, and you're the one figuring out how to work the course, how to get across the platform. So it's not only a physical but also a mental exercise. And us being able to build over 100 elements like this gives us the ability to offer the different challenges like you said with the green and the blue course and the black diamond and the double black diamond. So we just thought with, with all of that it, it was really a great package of, um, uh, of an adventure course and something we really felt set us apart and something that people are really going to enjoy. As you mentioned before, you got the courses designed like yellow through double black diamond as a northern skier. I know it's similar to the ski slopes here. Now, uh, like a, and I'm drawing the parallel to a skier, like a skier, so a professional climber comes in here, is the double black diamond going to be a challenge for them? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we have, um, uh, we have folks who, who are uh, Ironman athletes that you know that have climbed the Black Diamond and the Double Black Diamond, and and they thought, oh well, this is just a kids' course, you know. And Tree Hoppers is a very fun name, you know. It gives really an idea of, of, of fun for kids, but it's also great fun for adults. And as you said, it's it really is a challenge. I mean, it's it's not when we say Double Black Diamond, Double Black Diamond, we're not kidding. Uh, in fact, a large percentage of people who attempt the black diamond or double black diamond will not make it through. They will have to use one of the escape elements to get off or, or hopefully not, but potentially get rescued as well. So it's a, it's a physical challenge, but at the same time, we, we have these yellows and we have these greens and we have things for the five-year-olds and the ten-year-olds and, and uh, for the adults that don't necessarily want the super physical challenge but want something in between. And you're still going to challenge yourself on these simpler courses, but that variety I think uh, it's it's definitely, it's very true. When we say it's a black diamond, it's a black diamond. <laughs> well, uh, Benjamin, I tell you, I thoroughly, I'd done a green and a blue. The blue was very challenging. In fact, we decided we're not trying to black today <laughs> because yeah. of what the uh, blue did for me. But I do want to commend you. You got a wonderful staff out here, very helpful, very friendly. And, yep. uh, it's something. Uh, I never would dream myself coming to, and now I'm thinking, when am I going to come? Yeah, to? yeah, and that's, <laughs> that's what I am. And that's the thing about this park is it's not a bucket list activity. It's not something you try once. Okay, I did that. No, it's it's such a big park that you can come back again and again and see new things, try new courses, and challenge yourself to get to that black diamond or even farther. And uh, that's something that um, kind of that whole package that we have here with the Area Adventure Park. Uh, really gives you that experience that you, you don't find at many other places. Yes, sir. Well, uh, I thank you much uh, for this interview. Here. Well, thank you. I look forward to coming back again, and I know you're. In, we'll talk about this at a later time. I know you're introducing Scream Again. And we are introducing Halloween, Scream Again. Yep. Halloween is my Christmas, and I'm really <laughs> looking forward to seeing that. <laughs> it's it's going to be something that, um, well, we know we're very familiar with the attractions that are in this market. Uh, we've seen places like Hollow Scream and Halloween Horror Nights, and they're always going to have things that are different from us, and we're always going to have things different from them. But our park is going to be a little bit more in the extreme side, and it's also going to be something that there's certain things that we're going to do that they can't. Right. You know, you will literally be walking through the deep, dark woods in the middle of the night, and you can't do that at a theme park. 
You will be taking a hayride through a half mile long wooded trail, and you can't do that at a theme park. Yeah, I was reading even one house, you might get touched. Yeah, yeah that's that. very true. <laughs> well, and, and we'll have one that's interactive, where if you decide that you want to become part of the show, the characters will grab you, pull you in, and you will be removed from your group, and you will get your own show. And so that's something that the theme parks simply won't do. They won't go to that to to that level and. And I don't want to give away all the the, the uh, we'll wait we'll yeah, wait the secrets, I want to be surprised but, but but trust me it's it's going to be something that um, is very unique to this area and also very special because we're going to limit the the uh, attendance at these at this park and it's going to be a it's going to be a good size attendance but but it's not going to be anything where you're just going to be jam packed everywhere so it, it really makes it a very intimate experience. And um, we have another horror park that we've been running for a few years in the Midwest. We brought all that knowledge as well as knowledge from some of our other guys operating their own parks. We brought that to bear on Screamageddon. So it's, it's really going to be something very unique, very special, very terrifying. <laughs> and uh, I, I hope you like it. Well, I look forward to talking to you again during Spring Good. And thank Excellent. you for your time. Ben. Thank you, sir.